Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, super quickly, I'm gonna be showing you how to export objects out of Maya, and it can be easily used in Cinema 4D and into Substance Painter. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna to need to do when using texturing, um, you're gonna need UVs. The 2020 version of Substance Painter auto UVs things. Um, my object, I had already done my UVs, so if you don't know how to UV, you can still do it in 2020 in Substance Painter. All you're going to want to do, you're going to select your whole object, you can merge it into one piece, you can keep it as all the separate pieces, it does not matter. You're going to come to File, then you're going to go down to Export Selection. I'm just going to hit the Option box, which is the box on the right, and I'm just going to double check that I'm File Export as FBX. Um, you can use OBJ as well, I prefer FBX, just carries a little bit more information on the export. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Export Selection. And I'm going to go to my desktop and overwrite it as this um, test one. Yes. Super quick to export unless your file is massive. We're going to hop over here in Substance Painter, File New or Control N. The PBR Metal Roughness um, is the default one, so that's the one we're going to go with. I'm just going to select the file wherever you ended up saving it. Your document resolution, uh, you can keep it as 1K, you can change it, but in the end it's your bake settings that are really going to matter. And we'll hit OK. And should load up pretty quick. At that point, after hitting OK, if you need your auto UVs to be generated, you'll get a little pop-up window that says generating your auto UVs from Substance Painter. And yeah, it's easy as that to get objects from your 3D software into Substance Painter. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you next time.